One of your recent blogs, you talked about the uh, recent signing of Andy Dalton to the uh, to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, my question is, does that get the forty million or anything close to that amount that he wants now that they've signed Andy Dalton? Um, I I think the only way he gets the forty million if it's on a shorter deal, if it's a three year deal, similar to what um, Kirk Cousins had signed originally with Minnesota. Um, that's the only way I see it happening. I think this was a great move for the Dallas Cowboys. I've been on record since last year saying I didn't think Dak was deserving of the contract he was asking for. Now, I get highest paid quarterback, quote unquote, is all relative to the season that you become a free agent. That doesn't mean that he's the best quarterback in the league. But when they've already paid the money that they're paying to Zeke and the money they're paying to Amari Cooper and Lawrence on their defensive side, the money that's allocated to the impact and premier guys on that team, you do not need the highest paid quarterback for that thing to work. In fact, with Dak last year, they didn't even make the playoffs. So to me, if you're going to, if you're going to give that money to Dak, either you're basically saying we don't expect Zeke to be here long-term, or we're going to completely reshape the way this franchise moves forward. Andy Dalton gives them security. He gives them leverage. Ultimately, if Dak doesn't want to sign his franchise tender, you've got a veteran in Andy Dalton who could step right in and is going to be ready to play. He's always been professional, and I think he gets a little bit of a bad rap. I know those Cincinnati teams never won a playoff game, but guess what? He had been to multiple playoff games, um, and he, o- he always played in a very tough division, that AFC North division that features the Ravens and the Steelers. He's yeah. always held his own. So I think you get that guy with the weapons that they have, with the running game that they have, whether Dak is under center or Andy Dalton's under center, that's a team that's good enough to win 10 games, possibly 11 games, and be in the playoffs. And they still have a great offensive line. Absolutely. What a weird time we're living in right now where you have <laughs> Andy Dalton and Dak Prescott fighting for the Dallas Cowboys starting quarterback job, right? And not only that, too, but Andy Dalton is a TCU guy. Yep. So he's close to Dallas. So, of here. course, this makes sense for him to go home for a year get a little bit of uh, notoriety and let's say if Dak Prescott, right? Just, I know the original question was, is he worthy of $40 million? The answer right now is out, you know, during that 2016 draft class, right? Who who was in that? Carson Wentz, right? Uh, Jared Goff. Jared Goff. Jared Goff, right. And, you know, basically all the hypes on him, you know, in, in that aspect and in that, in that regard. So you look at Dak as a whole, should he be worthy of 40? That's that's up for general manager to, to decide. Me personally, I don't think he is. You know, the guy had all-star weapons all across the field. And the main point in three years, four years, to jump up from a rookie salary all the way up to being one of the highest paid players, you know, in, in the league is just absolutely mind-boggling when you really haven't accomplished much in your career is just absolutely unbelievable. And for a guy like Andy Dalton to come in and Eric, you said it the best, you said it the best. Andy Dalton played in the AFC North where you had to go up against the Browns. The Browns are hungry, no matter how bad they are. They're always hungry to go out there and just compete. The Steelers year in and year out, always have a good team. They always have a physical defense and the Baltimore Ravens year in and year out, always go out there and just play dominant. They play dominant. So to go out and to get Andy Dalton and to sign him away from a team like New England and Jacksonville, wherever, to, to have him go back to Texas and Dallas in his hometown, a, uh, a, a win-win. A, a win-win for Dallas oh. for sure. And I personally, I don't see Dak Prescott not even getting 30 mil. Yeah, I, like I said. I, I don't. I could – if. If him and Jerry come to some sort of agreement with Jerry says, look, if, if the money is what the issue is, then we'll get you the money, but on a very short term deal, because we're not locking you up for $40 million over five years. That just Well, the, the Cowboys won. The difference they're having is the Cowboys won five years. Dak wants four years. Well, but again, it's also talking about the, the amount of money he wants per yeah, year. Yeah, per year. And also, the guarantee money, because in the NFL, the guarantee money is really the, the sticking point. Um, you know, how much of that is going to be guaranteed? You want uh, that Kirk Cousins. Right, so on and so <laughs> forth. But again, Kurt had to sacrifice because Minnesota was willing to get to that number, but on a three-year, yeah. the original was a three-year. 
because Minnesota realized, look, all right, we'll give you the money and we're just going to go for it. And then if it doesn't work, we can always walk away from this. But Dak Prescott's success in the league so far has been predicated on handing the ball off to Zeke and getting the ball to Amari Cooper, right? When Zeke missed games with suspension, Dak struggled. When they didn't have Amari Cooper, he struggled. So to me, it is absurd to give him that amount of money when you know that his best days are only attached to those other two all-pro players. I think Zeke gets his numbers whether Dak is in the backfield or not. I think Amari Cooper could get his numbers if it's Andy Dalton that's throwing him the ball. But I do not think that Dak can be as impressive if those other two guys aren't on the field with him. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. And again, I, I do not by any means feel like he's worth $40 million a year. And you brought up the other two quarterbacks that are in that class of Jared Goff and Carson Wentz. And when you look at those two guys, Jared Goff has led his team to a Super Bowl. Carson Wentz should have been MVP that season. The Eagles won the Super Bowl had it not been for him getting injured and missing the last couple of games of the season. So now you've got two quarterbacks that, yeah, they're – they they got those highest contracts and then he beat out, you know, he beat out the other one and they got that, but they've both been to a Super Bowl. Dak has has won what one playoff game, I believe it I believe one. it is. He's won one playoff game. So you haven't done enough to warrant that. Now, I will say this. Listen, I'm 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 all for the brothers getting that, getting that paycheck, whatever you can get, because your worth is what you say your worth is, you know, and so you can't let somebody dictate to you what you're worth. So if you feel like you were 40, you know what? Hold out and wait and see if the Cowboys give you that 40. You know, and if not, then try to get it from someplace, from someplace else. Because at the end of the day, we all know that it's the same old story. When they cannot use you anymore, they will toss you. They will trade you. They will do whatever they can to get that, that money off the books. And it's football. So, and, and not too many people have the, the Kirk Cousins contract where it's fully guaranteed. Or the, the, Saquon has a fully guaranteed contract. A couple other guys got fully guaranteed uh, contracts. But there's not too many guys in the NFL that have fully guaranteed contracts. So you know what? If you feel like you were 40, say you were 40 and, you, and, and, and don't take nine less than 40. Listen, I think if, if, if that's how Dak feels, I commend him for that. Um, I'm not here to count another man's pockets. He, he got to get what he feel he's worth. Uh, but I will say this for the people – that are, might be down on Andy Dalton or they're not familiar with his work. Andy Dalton, for a lot of years in Cincinnati, was making it work with only A.J. Green. They didn't have a premier offensive line. They never had an elite defense. They didn't have a premier running game. Even though they had some good guys there, you know, but they never had the – if you're Andy Dalton, you should be ecstatic because it's like, look, you're telling me I can hand the ball off to Zeke Elliott 20 to 25 times? and not have to take a pounding. And then when I do need to drop back, I've got a, a, a very good offensive line in front of me with C.D. Lamb and Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup running routes for me. I mean, if, if you're Andy Dalton, like I said, this is a win-win. And if you're the Cowboys, like I said, you got a guy who's solid enough. He, he doesn't have to wow you. He can come in. He can play. That defense is still pretty good. I like the move for the, for the Cowboys, man. Yeah. Just to get back, just to get back to Dak, I know, Anthony, I know you're a Cowboys fan, but I don't want to oh, be Cowboys. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to just slow, slow your roll. Slow your roll on that one, bro. Slow your roll. Definitely you know, not no Cowboys fan. Okay, okay. All right. I had a mistake right there. Maybe we can edit that out. We'll edit that out afterward, okay? But no, seriously, though, you know, you look at Dak right now, what's going on with, with him, and, you know, I don't want to be counting people's pockets either. If the, the man, if, like you guys said, if he's worth that money, great. But if you're looking at it from an organizational standpoint, again, you're paying things off of past performance and what this person's going to do afterward. You know, realistically, what, like you, you guys said it, he only had one playoff win in, in his time. And, you know, I, I even just said it, you know, you go from rookie salary to being one of the highest paid without really doing that much. Yeah. You know, it's just something that is is just absolutely, you know, unbelievable if it does happen, number one. And number two, you know, you look at the contract figures that are there in place. Zeke is one of the highest paid running backs right now. Amari Cooper is one of the highest paid wide receivers right now. You know, you have all these first round, you, you got one of the best offensive lines 
in the game that are getting paid basically pretty much to top dollar. They just yeah, gave top uh, dollar. Demarcus yeah. Lawrence got, just got a, a a new deal on the defensive side of the of the ball. So correct. So a, my, a lot of checks. Right. So you you're basically putting yourself into cap hell at that point in time by allocating your money to a running back and to a wide receiver in which, you know, you don't know what's going to happen in three years. The average lifespan of an NFL player is three years. So we know that they're talented. The question is, is how long are these guys going to produce for the money that they're going to get? And with Dak, unfortunately right now, you know, it's not going to look like he's going to get 40 mil, and it's not look like he's going to get 30 mil either, to be quite honest with you. Well, unless he signs a franchise tag, and then that too. But, yeah, but he got, he got, he got to, yeah. If, if I'm Jerry Jones, I by no means am I giving him that that amount of money, honestly. I'd rather, I'd rather let him walk and sign Cam for all of that. If, if, if it and comes also, down to I won't play unless you pay me 40, okay. Bye. Yeah. And also, too, it's just magnified by 100 because it's the Dallas Cowboys, it's America's team, everything like that in the media. Exactly. So that's why we're all talking about this. So yeah. it, it's just it's just another way of, of the media going out there and just basically saying, hey, it's Dallas Cowboys, it's Jerry Jones. He's wanting to build the biggest thing. He's this rich Texas tycoon. Let him go out there and throw out his money. So, you know, it's, it's just the media doing What's up, y'all? It's Rashida, your favorite bartender. I know the bar is closed right now, but be sure to take a look at all new content on www.realfansrealtalk.com. Stay home, stay safe, and we'll see you back in the studio. All the best. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 